Schoolhouse Intuitive Tarot here. I'm here with your weekly reading, all signs. This is going to be a general reading, and then I'm going to break it up into each specific zodiac sign for sign-specific messages. This is for around the week of November 13th to the 19th, 2023. But as you know, you know the times and dates are approximate uh, because it's energy, and uh, energy doesn't, you know, uh, it's not bound by space and nor time. So we're going to get some oracle cards, some tarot cards. These messages are intended for your greatest, highest good. Your greatest, highest good. What is what is spirit, angels, guides, guardians? I also tune into Reiki. Uh, what 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 do we need to know at this time? Check out the description box for the disclaimer. You have free will, final say. Your intuition knows best. Oh, singing. This is about expressing your creativity. So think uh, sacral chakra. Think orange. Think uh, um, about you know you having that sort of empress vibe about you. That being able to create whatever it is you want. We have new cycles of opportunities here. Dove. All right. So. I'm getting the number nine with this because I'm thinking about, you know, cycles kind of wrapping up one, sort of beginning another. So maybe we're going to see start seeing a lot of ones too. Uh, yeah. So by the way, some of you have asked for personal readings. I am open to those at this time. I'm not sure how long I'll be doing them, but I am open. Go to schoolhouseintuitive.com and you'll get more information. I set up a simple web page just for this. All right. Let's see. Let's get more cards here. I love using a lot of different decks. Those are in the description box. Oh, wow. Okay. This actually came up in a pre-shuffle. So I know it's the card for this reading for sure. That's card nine. There it is with the nines. Okay. So nines again, cycles, liberation from a, a cycle that maybe you're ready to exit. This is a cleansing action. This is you taking action. This will involve your root chakra. The, um, this is going to be, the root chakra is, is, what, is what grounds you, what balances you, what offers you safety, security, stability, and connection to the world. This is giving birth to a precious dream that's been in your heart for a while. So this is setting yourself free to actually express your creativity, use your talents, and pursue a passion. All right. Definite freedom energy. That's been coming up in a lot of readings lately. This transformative action kind of energy. All right. I'm hearing something about persim persimmons, persimmons. Also, it could it could be a name too, um, like Percy or the name Simmons. That's coming through. I'm also getting something about daffodils, also lilacs. So daffodils are yellow. They're connected to spring. Uh, think April, May-ish, you know. And then May, uh, the lilacs would be May. So maybe there's something there about you. I'm also getting some grandmother energy and the name School Street. School Street. Maybe there's a store called School Street Books or something. I'm just picking up on that. I know that's very specific, but sometimes I am fortunate enough to get very specific messages for you as I'm doing the overall message. All right, freedom. There it is again. I no longer want this fiery ring of resentment to block the good. Release me from its bonds. Hmm. A hummingbird here. Okay, I'm also that, th I think of May. Where I live, the hummingbirds do come back that first week of May. So I'm getting May energy a couple of times here uh, for some of you. And yeah, this is like kind of like almost like getting out of your own way, breaking those chains. Maybe you're breaking, um, uh, you know, uh, what is it, uh, generational trauma or or something. Maybe you're you're breaking that sort of karmic cycle even. And then you have extraordinary. Look at this beautiful peacock here. I absolutely love this magenta kind of color here. There's a wild and impetuous uniqueness to you that deserves to be honored. Again, this is putting yourself out there and being proud of exactly who you are now. I actually just saw this bottom card. Oh, here we have Lord Ganesha here helping us with clearing energy. So as a true offering arises, it becomes easy to let go. You start to trust that more will always arrive. You shift from mine, mine, mine to God's, God's, God's. Such freedom there. All right. So it's about, it's about, again, trusting in that universe and trusting in yourself, trusting that as you take the small steps, the path will appear. Maybe it isn't clear at first, but as you take those steps, it becomes more clear. You do get answers eventually. I've seen that happen and play out many times in my life where 
I didn't know, you know, which direction. So, you know, in being inactive towards something, I've made a choice. Doing nothing is a choice. And so in order to get myself moving forward again, I would just take a step in a direction. And if it goes well, great. I have some information. If it doesn't, then, you know, I try again. But it's always, you know, always going forward, always trying. All right. Having that faith in yourself and in the universe to always provide. All right. Let's see what we get from Tarot. I'm hearing Alicia. Something about Alicia is born. So somebody named Alicia and then maybe a separate message altogether could be somebody's born like right at the time of this reading or this week, this week. An important birth for you it could also be your birth your rebirth here viewer all right seven of swords here okay i'm also hearing something about um by the way if you haven't noticed I'm, i have clary audience abilities as well as some of the other clairs and i use that during this tarot channel um reading <laughs> so uh, i use it in my life day to day but okay so we have air energy here aquarius in particular I'm hearing something about allegations. Somebody may have made some false allegations or somebody may have been wrongful. Yeah, yeah, well, wrongfully um, accused of something. There is a level of deception here with the Seven of Swords, but I'm feeling as though someone starts piece, piecing those or uh, putting those pieces together. This is um, kind of like, Again, it's the small steps. It's not doing everything all at once, all right? So when I see the Five of Swords and the Two of Swords broken up like this, I think of the Five of Swords and then the Two of Swords and what they actually mean in tarot with the Seven, okay? So the Seven, you've got the deception you have. Um, I, I don't look at deception as a bad thing. Maybe you're just keeping some things to yourself. And that's what we have with the five of swords on this left arm, this tattoo this person has. It's about being strategic and strategic does not mean bad. It does mean, I think, that we do need to keep some things close to our heart until they're ready for true and uh, total um, release to the universe. Um, so we don't really want other people in our um, creations as we are the creator, right? Once it's released, then that's different, you know, but, but while you're in your creative process, it's a, I almost look at it as like a very vulnerable time. It's almost like, you know, during a pregnancy, a fetus is very vulnerable. The pregnancy, it's a very vulnerable time. Um, I don't, you know, so, so it's kind of along those lines, like until, or an infant, very vulnerable, you wouldn't leave, you know, your baby in the middle of the mall in the, in the stroller. That's what I kind of always say on this channel. But, um, you know, once once it can walk and talk for itself, then, you know, a little bit more trust is built and you don't have to constantly be like right there all the time shielding it, literally shielding. OK, so this someone here, they're writing about their book ideas. They're finally putting it um, into a different format. Um, this is also about um, trying to read what it says right there. Uh, we have some intuitive energy here with this moon, all right? And we also have post-it notes. Now, the post-it notes, again, that's about taking things in small bites, all right? If any of you actually right now, um, if you're interested in, you know, taking small bites, um, Chris Reck through Minnow Pond Tarot is actually doing this 60-day challenge where you learn, it's like a class, basically, that I'm taking, and it's it's like, a, a you know, an inspirational course where you do 1% improvements per day. So, and that actually overall will lead to big growth, but it's not, I think a lot of us in life, and one reason I'm benefiting from this so much is that we get, we get into these areas where it, everything can just seem so overwhelming because you might have an idea, but it's like, where do you start? You might have an idea for a book, but then there's that whole like writer's block thing. You have great ideas, you have experience, you're willing to share it. And then it's like, but it's so enormous. Where do I start? My background in special education, this is where, you know, we're trying to teach an overall concept. We have to break it up into smaller pieces. Even when a student is, you know, tasked to write a paper, you know, we don't just say, okay, now go write. You know, we have graphic organizers, visuals, that sort of thing. And, you know, small steps, you know, and then put it all together. Um, but to just overwhelm somebody with, okay, do these 10 things that you have to do while you're writing a paper all at once. No, 
I find that um, sometimes I actually find, you know, in special education, there's nothing really special. It's just good teaching, you know. Um, everyone can benefit from having things broken up, I think, into small digestible parts. All right. Don't eat the, the Thanksgiving dinner all at once. You know, pace yourself. <laughs> all right. So um, this is also in the Two of Swords. That's that making the decision. Since it's not crossed, I see that this is someone, in fact, ready to showcase their skills, their talents. They're going for it. Normally, the Two of Swords, they're crossed, right? And the person is sort of in their head and not making a decision. I feel like this is the beginning stages of expression because things have been cleared. The path is clear now and you have that freedom to do so. And you are in fact extraordinary and your ideas are very creative and one of a kind and, you know, go for it. Oh, five of pentacles. Okay. Oh, and then the five of wands. So 55 here, we've got some change here. Odd numbers are showing up. We've got five, we've got five. That's, again, that's May. I was picking up on May. Um, I just heard something too about finances, okay? So, um, or, because it came through as a as purse, so like, like a pocketbook. So maybe one of you just bought a new pocketbook or I'm picking up on that, or you need one, or you need a new wallet or something, but... So there's a practical sense, but metaphorically speaking, this is something about really paying attention to where is the money? Where's the money going? Um, really kind of uh, looking at all your resources because this is a uh, earth energy here, this five of pentacles. So uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And it's, it's about, um, yeah, figuring out where things, where you should be putting your resources, right? It's, it's never usually they're like out in the cold, but if they turn the corner, help is there. So although you might not get the full amount for something, I feel as though this is an energy of sort of by being more mindful of where resources are going, time, money, energy, that sort of thing. Um, we can actually, again, make that small improvement um, and it'll start paying over time. Maybe some of you are thinking about um, doing this like, you know, saving, but like just a little tiny amount each, each um week or each paycheck or whatever. Um, five of wands here. I am seeing that that's making a difference, that things are going to balance out here in this checkbook here. All right. Um, but definitely pay attention to, uh, you know, where your money's going. I was surprised when I sat down and did my budget recently. because I'm like, where is my money going? And then I sat down and realized I had subscriptions to all kinds of things. And, um, you know, and I didn't include, you know, things like dog food, cat food. That's those are big expenses every month. But they eat good food. So things like that, being really mindful of where your expenses are going. Maybe some of you are needing to just be a little more formal and put that in writing now or something. Because we are getting a lot of um, pens here. So again, like something about writing possibly for some of you, some of you even um, journaling. I just heard something about an electronic code. So I don't know if you're into coding or electronics or something, but that's coming in for some of you. Um, I'm getting something with that about safety, like take precautions as far as safety. Uh, so there's something there if you're like an electrician or something. Um, all right. So could something here about your power for all of you, the essence of your power being palpable. So I guess, you know, that could be something and take only what resonates, of course, but it's something about you again, having that idea, putting it into motion, even if you don't know exactly where it's going to end up. Um, you know, it's like, you don't learn to drive a car just by sitting in park, right? You just, you never leave the garage, you know, you're not going to get anywhere, you know, um, same thing with like riding a bike, you know, you're not going to learn unless you get on a bike and try, are you going to fall over? Yes. It's expected you'll fall over. Well, this is just the same, you know, when you're going for something that's really precious, you know, um, but it's about revealing that to the world. And in doing that, you're revealing your true self. And when we're doing what our true self loves, and we're fully invested in ourselves and our own happiness and energy and light. When we're truly, truly embodying our light, um, that's when we're most alive. And then we attract like-minded people. Anyway, all right. So <laughs> come on. Anyway, here we go. Five of wands here. If you haven't figured this out, this tarot channel is is very. Uh, it's meant to be um, positive and and. Uh, you know, positive is subject, subjective though, but, but also just inspirational, maybe spiritual, maybe I feel as though, you know, as an intuitive, I 
and in my business outside of this, I, I'm an intuitive too. And like, I, I just, I feel like I'm never telling people things they don't truly know in their core. But a lot of us, we have intuitive abilities and we just don't fully recognize them, but they are there. Um, and maybe someday I'll put it out a video on how to get in touch with your intuition more. Um, two tips right away, meditate, as everyone always says, and also trust the intuition. And I don't mean just with something small. I mean, really trust your intuition and then take action. Don't just believe it, but put yourself in motion, showing the universe you believe it. Then you'll become more intuitive. That's just a couple of ways. Also, Reiki is another great way. Become Reiki attuned. That'll open up a whole new world of uh, special energy and abilities and that sort of thing to you. All right, five of wands here. This is about learning to be on a team. I'm also getting, again, step-by-step -step approach, step-by-step. -step. They're careful here. They're, again, they're strategic. There's something here about strategic measures, strategic measure, measure. I'm hearing Florence, um, Kelly. All right, what else do we have? What else do we have? Oh, believe in miracles, okay. I just heard if the suit fits, wear it. So um, maybe some of you getting fitted for a suit. Oh, by the way, five of wands, fire energy there, Aries, Leo, Sag. Four of pentacles. Okay, four of pentacles. So what are you holding on to, right? This, is, this can be, you know, someone holding on too tightly to something with the four of pentacles. It can also be um, they're sort of shielding their heart. There could be a love situation that involves finances as well. There's like crossover somehow with business and, and love. Um, it could also be, um, again, saving. Some of you are saving your resources. Uh, maybe you're having more me time or you're actually saving your, your money at this time. All right. So let's see. What else do we get here? Oh, by the way, it's Capricorn energy here on this card. Okay, we have judgment. So this is going to be a wake up call for some people. This is that revelatory energy. This is um, maybe once you, um, oh, I just heard relinquish your fears. So relinquish your fears. Um, you know, be open to connecting on a much higher level. Try something new. Go out of that comfort zone. What else do we have? There's something, you're going to hear something, either intuitively or uh, li literally on this plane, physically, you'll hear it, you know, through your actual ears hearing, or, you know, for those of you um, who don't hear fully or whatever, um, you know, you'll see it or it'll come in. So when I say hear and see and things, I do want to be mindful that there are a lot of people in this tarot community and people viewing and, and that, um, you know, we all have different ways that information comes to us and we all have our, our abilities and things. All right. So we have the seven of wands again, another seven. So 77 here, 55 change sevens can be spiritual lessons, you know, definitely. Um, it's a big lesson. I feel like you're learning the lesson, not to share everything with everybody all the time to put things into motion, take small digestible bites of things. Uh, you can't only write so much on one little post-it note, right? Um, but when you put all those post-it notes, notes together, you have a completed product or you might have if, you know, again, in teaching children, you have a storyboard, you know, and just each piece of the story. And then it's a whole story overall. All right. So seven of wands. Um, this is putting up those boundaries. Some people are going to need to be told stop. You know what this is saying to me? I'm hearing a conversation happening. Stop. As much as I respect you, your opinion on this doesn't matter. It's your project, right? It's your life. So I'm hearing some of you having to, no matter how important somebody may think they are or may actually be to you, you're having to sort of stop that, that um, from interfering, you know, because sometimes we can't all get along. <laughs> so sometimes it really is like, a, okay, I just need to shut this, this out. We have temperance here. Um, Sagittarius energy. This is a uh, balance. This is again, just like with judgment, you've got some, oh, and another five. Wow. Okay. So you have five again. All right. Um, this is also, oh, 
and the two of swords because i saw it i need to say it so remember that i will talk about that in a second oh i get so excited all right <laughs> so sagittarius it's oh look those remind me of daffodils, but they're not actually daffodils. Those that look like they're irises or they're irises. Yeah, I believe they're irises. Okay, yellow iris. All right. So um, I just heard something about fact over fiction. So be careful, you know, uh, the stories we tell ourselves versus what's truly, what is the truth? Okay. Um, so we might want to break that down and find out where some of our beliefs truly come from. All right. Um, that's a very powerful step to take. All right. So here you see it. We could almost imagine this is, you know, um, high vibration, low vibration or um, facts in fiction or whatever, however you want to do it. But it's, it's about, um, you know, how, where our beliefs came from. Why do we feel a certain way, particularly about ourselves? Why do we feel a certain way about ourselves and our own abilities and things? Where does that come from? Uh, sometimes when we can recognize the source, then we can truly address it and change it, right? And and develop new beliefs. Um, there's something here about I'm getting I'm hearing something about planetary alignment. So you know maybe you're aligning your chakras, maybe you're uh, just aligning things in your life in a better way. Maybe you're organizing your things. There's you know ideas again into those steps. This is Libra energy here with the two of swords. It's sort of uh, making a decision you know having to make a decision do you accept something do you decline it again it can tie into your beliefs are you willing to continue to accept that belief where does it go where is it going to get you how do you know where it's going to get you how has it gotten you because one of the best indicators of of the future is to look at the past you know whether we want to look at it or not you know the past does contain lessons and that's part of that fool's journey right only taking the lessons not the baggage not to dig into details but um where are the true lessons, the most important points? All right. So again, this person's writing. Some of you really are writing. I mean, you're putting something uh, into a product, into a permanent product of some kind. It could be, um, you know, a book. It could just be journaling. It could be um, a blog. It could be a podcast. It could be art in some way. It, it can really be anything, but this is the moment of change is what I'm hearing, the moment of change, okay? And also, no, okay, so I heard something about um, as far as recycling, there's one particular pattern or person that you know you have to set a boundary with, it, that it has to, and that actually could be why this phone is like this, accept or decline. All right, so use your intuition on this because we're seeing that moon card again. Pisces energy is coming through. It's come through a couple of times here as well. Next, what do we have? This could be a very important week for you, viewer. Transformative. This whole month has been very transformative. Also, if you're a Libra, check out the Libra readings I do. I do a lot of Libra readings. All right, here we go. Eight of Pentacles. Wow. So things are, we're really focused on the, the resources here, the abundance. This is someone perfecting their craft, right? Um, they're really chiseling down. They're, they're also, again, it's that permanent project where they're actually etching into something. It's a permanent um Oh, and they're actually, they're using your resources wisely because they've now come up with, instead of hand drawing everything, there's a stamp that they're using. So they're becoming more efficient. All right. We're also getting some, uh, some sun energy here with that. So even though it's a uh, pentacles, we've got Leo energy coming through. All right. And so it's like, you may have tried a few things, but the eight of pentacles is when you've realized, you know, that that you you are much more proficient okay but this has happened over time so when we want to acquire a new skill the best way to do it is to um to do to do it you know over and over repeat practice just practice whatever it is all right practice practice and and that and it'll become automatic for some of you this is going to be uh also a big virgo energy here too all right. So um, diligence, diligence, persistence, patience, it's all paying off, particularly with this temperance card here. Again, a card of patience, balance, moderation, not letting yourself go too far one way, staying open, you know. All right. That's, you know, that's pretty good as far as um, overall. I want to get some, you know, as far as it's pretty clear what the messages are, at least to me, <laughs> um, as far as um, 
you know, having this be taking the time, taking small steps, clearing away what's not serving you, if that even means blocking somebody or something that you need to do, but choosing to take the step, even though you don't know fully where you're going, this is very clearing. And in that liberation, you will find some answers. At the very least, you will learn some lessons. Okay. And um, yeah, so share yourself. <laughs> All right. We have fear of losing control. All right. So this is some sort of a, this could be a money block of some kind or just a block in general to your success. Trying to control the outcomes in all aspects of your life. Okay. Loosen the grip is what we're told here. It reminds me very much of this five of wands, in fact. Okay, so this is lose the grip on situations and start to let them unfold naturally so you can see better opportunities than the ones you are focusing on. Again, you, it's good to know the details, but you want to know the big picture too, right? All right, here we go. What else do we have? Let's get an affirmation for that. Okay, not worthy. Someone may be feeling not worthy. The affirmation for this is I deserve to be wealthy. Do something nice for yourself. You deserve it. Here we have a lovely chocolate cupcake. Oh man, look at that. That looks delicious. And uh, butterflies here. So that's how we tackle that. And then sell your soul. Rip up contracts you made in your mind about money. Again, where those beliefs come from? That came through early in the reading. I am free to be wealthy. Not only that, I deserve to be wealthy. I deserve to be wealthy, right? I deserve to be wealthy. I'm free. I'm now open to becoming wealthy in all ways for my greatest, highest good, right? All right. Now, what sort of spiritual things might sort of help us, spiritual practices? Violet Aura. This is about an old soul, charismatic, something powerful. You also have, what do you know? Clear audience. This is hearing spirits or the divine. Some of you may be actually hearing things. Indigo aura. This is about a new soul. So you're combining new and old. So there is, there can be some, there is, you know, recycling is good sometimes, right? Um, so this is about being highly sensitive. Some of you are star seeds and you identify as a star seed. You know, you're a star seed. I'm loving these colors though, that violet color and you have spiritual awakening. This is unlocking abilities towards your awareness. All right. And this will lead to change. All right. Uh, what is it that we need to let go of? Surrender to. Surrender the idea you can fix someone. It's time for a relationship to shift. Maybe that's seven of swords. It doesn't work to try to fix someone. Each person must be accountable for his or her own healing. What else? Tame negative thinking. When negative thoughts arise, experience the feelings behind them and shift to a larger, more compassionate perspective. Some of you wonder about love. Let's see what we're gonna get here. A couple of love messages. Judgment again, recovery with the four of swords and the nine of hearts cup. So love is looking pretty good. If love is something you wanna focus your attention on, it's looking like this is a pretty good time period to focus on it. Um, but you know, you're gonna, it's like using what you've already acquired, what you know, this is when, you know, you actually can move into and you've done that reflection and recovered maybe from something that really deeply hurt you in the last couple of years and then you that leads to that fulfillment now what's interesting about this there's another cupcake and they're different kinds of cupcakes but they're still cupcakes and i feel this is self-fulfillment this is self-love actually is what i'm picking up on this is about i deserve to be wealthy i deserve to be valued i deserve to be respected i deserve to be loved all of that is coming through for you as reminders for this upcoming week, viewer. So that is what I have for you for the collective. Now, we're going to move into sign-specific messages for you. Let me just clear that. Clear that out. And let's see, who are we going to start with? Let's start with Gemini. Gemini, you've been on my mind here, maybe because May was coming in, I don't know. Let's start out with a fortune cookie. You have sunshine. The sun is shining on you, career and business growth, fabulous communication in relationships. Okay, let's get you a guardian angel message. Opportunity. Oh, this is looking very sunny. 
Wondrous opportunities and possibilities await you. Stop dwelling on past mistakes. Surrender the past lovingly. There's nothing to regret. All is well and perfect in divine order. Everything that you've ever experienced has helped you in some way. The past is behind you. The path ahead is clear. Move forward joyfully and fulfill your heart's desire. I'm hearing the name Dan or any, any name containing Dan, Daniela, Daniel, Dana. Animal Oracle, you, ha you have calmness here with this fish. So this is a creative time and space to find peace in your daily life. Appreciate the quiet moments. Allow serenity to embrace and recharge you so you can face life's challenges with clarity and stability. Numbers that could be of significance to you this week. Oh, yes. 1111, that is a sign of spiritual awakenings. You are drawn to higher vibrations. And I want to get you one more card. This is from a Starseed Oracle. Do I have? Okay. Gaia. Connect to the pulse of Mother Earth. She will guide you through this time of change. Mm. All right, Gemini. That's what you have for your messages. I'm going to actually leave them separate so we don't keep hitting the same cards, which has happened in the past. Oh, actually, you know, Gemini, let's get you a love message. I'm going to do this in a different way this week. I'm pulling a question. How can my thoughts influence the direction of this relationship? Your love card for that is the three of hearts. Good time. So focus on having some fun. Celebrate, you know, small wins. Get out with friends. Um, this doesn't have to involve drinking, but there's often, you know, remember the three traditional three of cups. That's um, that's three people kind of holding their their cups up together. It's uh, usually three women in the card, and uh, they are they're celebrating. Um, they're, maybe you're connecting with siblings or really good friends coming up this week, but it is it is focusing on those good things. All right, next let's go ahead and do who do we have? Oh, we have Taurus. All right, Taurus, what do we have for you? Nature. Maybe you're on the, the cusp there, Taurus, Gemini cusp. Interact with nature in the outdoors, around animals, farmlands, or by the ocean. This will be good for the soul and healing for you. Courage. We've got the lion here, Leo the lion. Be courageous enough to stand up for yourself. Pursue your dreams and deep. Oh, sorry. And step outside of your comfort zone. You will discover that you are capable of more than you ever imagined. Beautiful card there. Your guardian message is creativity. We, your angelic messengers, are here to help unleash the endless creative potential that you possess. Listen to the whispers of love inside your heart as we communicate with you through feeling and emotion. Let go of fear and apprehension and express the endless source of creativity you possess. Have fun. And allow the inner child within you to express your true essence. All is valid. Transcendence. Transcend your mind's limitations. Allow your soul's light to truly shine. Wow, you're getting sort of a repetitive message here. Next, you have 727. Sign to go within. Listen to your inner wisdom to guide you, Taurus. And now, your love message. What question will be asked? How can I shift my thoughts and feelings toward this person or situation in order to improve the dynamic? This does not have to be romantic love, by the way. Oh, 55, by the way. Change. The eight of flames, the eight of wands, movement, just some sort of um, inspiration, movement, um, maybe taking a next step. This is about action. Okay. Next we have Aries. All right, let's start out with love for Aries. Is my current job in alignment with my higher purpose? If so, how? If not, why? Okay, so it doesn't say love on that card. We have five of keys. Shut out. Oh, so some of you may be feeling like you're just not on the right path for love or for your job. Um, we've got the padlock here. Whoops. Whenever I see a padlock, though, the good news is there's a key. So if you find the key, then you're in. But maybe you want to shut the door on something or someone. And again, you hold the key to do either. 
your guardian angel message is dreams. I just heard practice makes perfect. This is a wondrous time of healing and positive transformation. Embrace life each moment and keep focused on your dreams. Retain the purity of your vision and you will draw success to you. All you have ever wished for, even that which seemed a distant dream, is about to manifest. Ooh. Commitment. A commitment is indicated around love or business. It will make you feel better. So, yeah, you could be picking a path here in love. Strength. Ooh, it's a Black Panther there. Okay, you are stronger than you think. You possess an inner strength and courage that can help you overcome any challenge. You have the inner strength required to navigate the situation, whatever it may be. Sorry about the light being on there. Maybe I'll do this there. That helps. All right, and then we have courage. Oh, my goodness. You have courage, strength. Wow. All right. Uh, live your life fearlessly with courage, strength, and admiration or and determination. And next you have 1919. This is a sign of patience. Patience and hard work make dreams a reality. Look at that. You have dreams and dreams. Wow. Good messages there for you, Aries. All right. Next we have Scorpio. Start out with that love message so I don't forget. <laughs> What is my, oh, it's, it's a self-love message, card 20. What is my life path and how am I doing toward following it? Hmm. The answer with tarot is the nine of pentacles. This is being self-reliant. So this is about you putting, you know, doing the necessary work and um, the nine of keys, that's going to be um, pentacles, okay? So that's you putting in those, in that work and, um, Generally, it's the person in the garden with the bird and all the fruit that was hard to grow. And um, but this is like no matter what the hardships, you know, if you wanted it enough, it's yours. All right. Next, we have eternity. Gently move your awareness from the external world to a world of light within your heart. Allow each breath to heal you as you drift to a place beyond time. Externity exists within you, forever sparkling like. I'm sorry, eternity exists within you, forever sparkling like a diamond. You are in presence, a shining star, forever transforming to ever grating, um, to ever greater light. Ever greater light. Okay. Property. A property purchase or sale for many, but heed security concerns in any transactions. So if you have any concerns, look things over. Make sure you're looking things over carefully. Release. <clears throat> Create space for change and growth by letting go of what weighs you down. Open the door to new life and grant yourself the freedom to unfold your authentic being. Say goodbye to stagnation. Because it's your birthday, you're getting a bonus card. Ace of Flames, new passion here. It could be in any area of your life. That is that flash, that fire, that, that again, that inspiration you've been looking for. Okay, that could be coming in very shortly for you. It may seem as though it came out of nowhere, but you're going to know that you earned it, right? All right, and happy birthday, Scorpios, by the way. And next you have for your number, oh, good one, 444. You are guided and protected. Angels watch over you with love and encouragement. By the way, there was a dragon here on this release card. And your star seed messages. Observation. Expand your consciousness by observing the divine matrix of life. Pursue your passion there, Scorpio. I just heard that. Mm -hmm. Next we have uh, picking up on rice. Maybe some of you are having rice for dinner or you're eating rice. I don't know. Cancer, what do you have for you? What question should we be asking? Card 15, should I stay or should I go? What happens if I stay, I go? Should I stay or should I go now? <laughs> all right, world. Oh, full circle. My goodness. Well, you can have it all. You, you can, wow. It's like I'm hearing that other song. You can go your own way. <laughs> go your own way. <laughs> yeah, so, wow. Okay, very musical. Maybe music's a big part of your life or will be or should be for healing and help. I don't know. Let's, fig let's get another card here, though. Um, okay, so we have Aggressive Seeker of Arrows. All right, so that's, that's, um, that's some big fiery, or I'm sorry, some um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, air energy, okay? 
So this is going to be um, the the Seeker of Arrows, I believe, in this deck. Let's see. It's the Kings are, I think it's the Knight. Yeah, so it's the Knight of, yeah, aggressive. Yeah, it's the Knight of Arrows, Knight of Swords. All right, this is something coming in impulsively. All right, so you may be changing your mind uh, over and over. And that's why you're asking, should I stay or should I go? I would like a more definitive card. Seven of Arrows, Seven of Swords. You may have been picked up on some, on, first of all, this may involve an air sign. You've also maybe picked up on some sneaky, deceptive energy, or you may be secretly doing something, you know, maybe a side job or something, but <clears throat> there's something here also about temptation. So communication, communication is going to be a big deal here. All right. And what it looks like, because we have these air, these uh, arrows, these swords, it's like, think logically about it too. And sometimes if you can't make a decision, it's like, run it through your body. How does that make you feel? Run the two, each one through your body separately. Do I stay at this current job? Run it through. How does your head feel about it? Are you getting a headache? Are you instantly feeling your shoulders tense? Your neck? How does it feel in your heart? Are you feeling anxious? Are you feeling calm? In your stomach, how does that feel? Are you feeling that sort of nervous, icky energy? Or are you feeling that excited butterfly energy? You know, how does it feel? All right. Okay. Next expression. Express how you feel. <laughs> there you go. Express how you feel. Yeah, this is going to be again. A, a, yeah, communication is important here. I just said that. So express how you feel clearly, lovingly, and honestly without fear of judgment. Say it exactly like it is. All will be resolved when you express to others how you truly feel. Trust in the power of life to guide you and heal all concerned. Self expression is liberating and healing. Grace. I'm going to drag in here. Open yourself to receive divine grace and love. Allow yourself to be filled with divine blessings that are flowing to you right now from a source of unconditional love. I'm getting a message. Avoid self pity. Very important at this time. Okay? Not saying you are in self pity, but it, that came through. 1515, a sign of faith. Make necessary changes to achieve your dreams. Reinvent yourself. A transformation is taking place. Enjoy a new lease lease on life and channel you're a channel through which healing and energy reaches the world yes yeah, some of you may actually be energy healing practitioners or something of the like maybe you heal through music libra fellow libras what do we have what question should you be asking okay we have how can i manifest more love in my life Keeper of arrows, that's that's the queen. I'm sorry, keeper of hearts, that's the queen of cups, card 40. How to manifest more love in your life. Stay grounded, use your intuition. It's okay to, to, to feel, to love again. Um, the queen of cups knows, your, knows her worth, so make sure you're recognizing your own value and do not settle. That's what we're getting here. Next you have surrender by the way the queen of cups has learned many lessons along the way and trusts their intuition now more remain positive about the future of our planet for all is part of humanity's evolution there's a divine order to all chaos which you perceive in the world nothing will ever truly change until we learn to love and accept all as it is lovingly surrender your judgments and expectations and your life will magically transform a lot of pink here libra all right Okay, so we have another dragon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Embrace new challenges and opportunities with an open mind and courage. Be willing to step outside your comfort zone and explore the unknown. You will find growth and valuable learning there. As I said, uh, I'm a Libra too, and I actually just, um, you know, started out that Chris Recomino Pontero 60 day challenge, being a quote, dent maker, as he calls it, making a dent on the universe. All right, uh, achievement. Enjoy the limelight, you've earned it. Although on the family front, someone's health could cause some secret worries and sleepless nights. Oof, all right. Creation. Being creative is a wonderful way of witnessing the unfolding of your limitless creative soul. Empress energy there, rock on Libras. 616, sign of opportunities. Look for the door of opportunities to open. Look for the door, the door will appear. If you don't have the key, 
Learn it, earn it, it's yours, door will open. Did I just come up with like a really cool motto or is that super cheesy? I don't know, I like cheese. Huh. More cheese on cheese. Okay, dad jokes, not a dad, but that's what's happening. Capricorn, you have about the author. Tony Carmine Salerno, oh, <laughs> this, you can't make this up. I'm all serious too. Um, so this is about, we're going to read it because it came out, but it is that informative card about the deck. So Tony Carmine Salerno is an intuitive artist, author based in Melbourne. Oh, intuitive artist based. <laughs> okay. Based in Melbourne, Australia, his paintings often described as energy on canvas are infused with a hypnotic spiritual energy that evokes a timeless sense of love. Hey, maybe that's your energy right now. Tony's philosophical and inspirational writings lovingly transport us to that eternal space of light, which exists within each of our hearts. Remember, you have, Capricorn, that eternal space of light within you. And maybe you are that light for others. And maybe you're willing to share and express that more freely now through art or writing. Okay. And how can I cultivate a deeper connection to my higher self? Card 12. Ooh. Soul connection, the lovers, Gemini energy, by aligning with your true purpose, by aligning with what really matters to you, by making sure that everything that you're doing, it's not fragmented, it somehow all fits and comes together in a way that is practical, that makes sense, a way that makes you feel comfortable with your life in general, making sure the pieces align. We have um, presence here with the ram. What a ram or sheep. Okay, anyway, um, don't worry about the past or the future, but be present here and now. Practice being present in your relationships and nature and in your daily activities. Take your time. All right, take your time. Intuition, trust your intuition. It's a great time to learn a new skill, change careers, or invest in money. Invest money. Magnificence, Oh. You are amazing, magnificent, and unique, but most importantly, you are enough. Cardinals, the bird cardinals could be of significance. Two, 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 two. Sign of balance and harmony. Maintain your balance with positivity. And have a good laugh. <laughs> All right. I'll put this one aside. <laughs> yeah, it was funny. All right. Let's see. Pisces. Here we go. What do we have? Let's start out with what is this, what is this person's thoughts about me? Card 43. Ooh, looks like maybe it could be a love situation. It could be a business thing. It could be a friendship. Who knows? Emperor, masculine energy. Wow. Okay. Aries energy. They're seeing you as a, as like the boss. Okay. This is, um, that entrepreneur. This is someone who can visually, or who can, um, who has like, is that visionary energy, but they also get to work. You don't get muscles like this without working hard right? So this is like not being afraid to take risks. This is, um, you know, putting yourself out there, having confidence, even if you don't quite have confidence yet, fake it till you make it, right? People say that all the time, like fake it till you make it. It's not really about like being disingenuous. It's like, uh, they say to like dress for the job you want, just like play the role, play the part until you're actually more comfortable yourself. And then you'll really actually truly embody it. Possibly, you know, I don't know if that's great advice or not, but you decide. Oh my goodness. Okay. How to use these cards. Are you kidding me? All right. We're not going to read that one. <laughs> oh my goodness. How to use these cards. Well, to skim it though, this is like, let's see. Okay. Prayer could be important. And also um, how prayer is very powerful and having faith and lovingly communicating with the guardian angels and you, you know, whoever, whatever you believe in. All right. So, okay. All right, now we have vitality here. Your life energy is infinite and pulsating within you. Nurture your body. Ooh, look at this emperor. Nurture your body, mind, and soul with love and care. Prioritize rest and nourishment to maintain your inner strength and balance. All right. Looks like some sort of mountain goat there. All right. Actual guardian angel card, trust. You're looking at a situation from a purely physical perspective. What is all this about physicality? Some of you may definitely be part of a new health routine or something like that. Therefore, you cannot, oh, you're looking at something purely from a physical experience and therefore you cannot see the big picture and the blessings interwoven within this event. 
We, your angels, urge you to trust for all will work out in the best way possible. Let go of your fear, your apprehension. Let go, let go. And allow God's healing energy to flow to you. Trust for all will heal in ways you never thought possible, Pisces. One, two, two. Release doubt and fear. Time to let go of what's holding you back. I think you've started to do that already. Sexuality. Existing relationships could find a new passion and heightened sexual attraction. Opportunities for marriage and good family life are strong, but if single, be aware of the temptation that could lead to trouble. A child could also bring great joy. And you have advancement. A strong energy is propelling you forward. Follow the stirrings of your heart. Lovely messages, Pisces. All right. Oh, it's sad to see that emperor go. All right. He was such a nice, strong presence on the table. He's still with us. Aquarius. Card 34. What can I do to come into a place of forgiveness with this person? Any person. Deep. Master of hearts. King of hearts. You could seek wise counsel. You could um, express yourself. You could try um, writing something down I'm getting. Um, this is about being balanced and being really in touch with your, with your emotions fully. Recognize them and take the lessons that are coming out of the situation. All right, think of the overall big picture with this person too, right? And what, what's going to feel best? Go with your heart. And then you have courage. Dare to be different, to make mistakes, create, for it is creation you exist. For it is creation that you exist. In this word of dreams, the stem from the eternal heart, you are one with all creation. All is possible. Go forth, be true to yourself, for it is only through being true to you that you can be true to others. Assert yourself, again with that courage. Go for what you want. The time is ripe for a soulmate connection. Birth of a child is likely. Vision. Ooh, look at that. Okay, with this hawk here. Imagine a clear picture of the life you want to create and use it as your guide on your soul's journey. Let your vision inspire you to take courageous steps towards your dreams today. Meditation. Take a moment to connect to source through quiet, reflective meditation. And card 66, a sign of creativity. Life flows with love, abundance, and opportunity. Did I forget a message for you? Mm. No, you have all of them. Okay. Felt like I missed one on that, but I guess not. <clears throat> and Leo. I knew it was Leo because it's the smallest one. <laughs> All right, the shortest name. All right, 38. What are this person's true feelings toward me? Again, could be anyone. Seeker of keys. Okay, so they're dedicated. This is the Knight of Pentacles. They, they may, um, that could be a very stable energy. That maybe they want something solid with you, something real. Again, it could be work too, you know. Some sort of, they see you as, as being a very solid person, someone who's honest, who's, who's putting in the work, but willing to also continue to learn. Compassion. Dearest one, be compassionate towards yourself. Surrender the self-criticism and fear that has you believing you need to improve in order to be worthy. You're perfect just as you are. The only thing that needs to change is your perception. You will come to realize the jewel you are when you love and honor yourself as you are. 1818, 18, sign of great things to come. You're motivated to achieve more out of life. And then you have future. You may travel or host an overseas traveler soon. Either way, great social fun awaits. This doesn't have to be an overseas person either, I found. Um, all right, and then we have a unicorn here with miracle. Believe in miracles. Open up to the unexplainable and magical aspects of life. Miracles happen when you're receptive to the unexpected and trust in the infinite wisdom of the universe. I believe this. I do believe miracles are swirling all around us right now. Trust, see your light, know your power, have the courage to walk your truth. Those are the most powerful steps when you're walking your true path. 
and they make the biggest impact. Virgo, 22, does my current situation have long-term stability? If so, how? If not, why? Well, we need to get a few cards then, I guess. All right, let's see. Current situation, long-term stability. Oh, mm, card of transition, six of swords here. So somebody, yeah, moving on. This could have something to do with your past too. They're going in a different direction, which indicates past for me usually. So it could be a, yeah, past situation coming back. And that's why it's, you know, you're maybe still getting through that. Uh, we have justice here, laws of karma. Yeah, things need to be balanced out here. So if it doesn't have, this, if it if it is something that's going to be your if something you're moving on from or someone's moving on from you, um, it seems as though a I want you to know there's support available. Okay, there is support um, in different forms, and then Libra here with the laws of karma. Maybe you have a Libra in your life, or you're on the Virgo Libra cusp. But this is also like how someone imprints upon us or how they impact us is going to be um, connected to what they manifest coming up next in their life. I don't like it when people talk about karma as though it's like revenge and like, oh, karma's gonna get you. Karma just is, all right? It's just, it is. Things balance out naturally. It's neither really good or bad. It's just, it's all energy, right? So um, karma's not a bad thing. And, um, it's just, it's, it's about the truth of situations and what's best for you. What's in your greatest, highest good will unfold. Sometimes we have to trust though, and clearly communicate breakthrough. How many beautiful heartfelt wishes have been crushed by fear? How many times has society's voice of disapproval cast a shadow on your dreams? It is time to break free of these false beliefs and realize your dreams. Allow your heart to guide you. Trust your inner guidance. The time is right. Okay, we have a horse here. Could be a unicorn. Perseverance. The path may be challenging and obstacles may arise. Do not let setbacks discourage you. I just heard the past is in the past. Perseverance will strengthen your character and help you overcome any obstacles. 144, sign to raise your vibrations. You're leveling up as a healer and light worker. Stillness, reflect on this moment with love, kindness, and compassion. I'm getting something about a surprise. In your moments of stillness, you may be surprised by something that comes up. Communication, as I said, communicate. A reunion could bring love or a rekindling of friendships. A lucky win seems likely. likely. So I just heard someone, something, I feel as though somebody here Maybe I'm picking up on several of their, there's something from the past that may want to resurface. It's important you communicate clearly to yourself, the universe, and that other person. Be true to you. Sound corny? Well, it actually works. <laughs> it does lead to more happiness. Sagittarius, at least in my experience. All right, what do you have? Card 54. What changes should I commit to in order to make my dreams achievable? How do you achieve your dreams? Eight of Pentacles, learning. Eight of Keys here, okay? Learning. Practice, practice. Remember we had the Eight of Pentacles come up in the collective reading? Yep. Be willing to learn something new. Be willing to really determine or stay determined and persevere. Oneness. Someone you dearly miss is forever present in your heart. Remember, dearest one, even though there's been a physical parting, spiritually, those we love never leave us. Creation is eternal. Nothing's ever truly missing. We're always interconnected and ultimately one. That is the energy. That is the nature of energy, right? Interconnected, limitless, not bound by space nor time, which means the energy never dies. That's why I personally feel souls live on, spirits. You know? Just in a different form, but the energy is there. Love. Love is in the air. A great time for commitment and taking relationships to the next level. Oh, you also have a lion. Okay, protection here. Fire signs are getting lions, all right? And Leo is the lion, so you're covered. <laughs> you are supported and guided by loving forces. Fear not, your path ahead is secure and you will reach your goal. Follow your heart. It knows the way. You are divinely protected at all times. Yes, some of you have someone in spirit who's clearly watching over you, even if 
you don't feel like you're necessarily able to connect, they're communicating with you and they are present. I feel as though maybe you do feel it. For a lot of you, I feel you feel it. For some of you, I feel you think that you don't have that ability when in fact you do. Inner worlds, your eternal, your external world is a reflection of your internal world. True. What you think about, you bring about. Romance. Love is set to sizzle. The chance of romance is high for those seeking a connection. That's how it wanted to be said. And I don't know why, but you got an, uh, an extra card. It needed to come out. Some of them needed to hear that sizzly romantic message. 44, sign of encouragement. Keep going as your hard work will pay off. Just like what this said here, this protection card. That's what I have for you, everyone. Please consider sharing, liking. Please like. Make that thumb blue. And please, um, not your actual thumbs, but, you know, the little outline of a thumb here. Click it, please, and subscribe. I'd love it if you would subscribe. Come back. See me again. Have a great week, everyone.